Have you ever found yourself wondering how a particular artist achieved a certain sound on a recording? So much so that you end up going down the rabbit hole of forum posts, books, interviews, and YouTube videos, only to discover that the microphone that was central to the sound is either way beyond your budget, or even worse, made of unobtainium. Well, enter the phenomenon of microphone modeling. Of course, this technology is nothing new. There are several mic modeling products out on the market by different companies, but Universal Audio's foray into this area after their acquisition of Townsend Labs a couple of years ago has led to some interesting developments. The most recent being the Universal Audio SC1 standard condenser microphone with hemisphere mic modeling. To check out how the SC1 sounds with the Hemisphere plugin, I put together a remote style home studio session with my colleague Gabe, and I was pretty impressed with how the microphone and the plugin performed. I'll take you through that session in a moment, so stick around, but first, let's talk a little about the SC1. The SC1 is the large diaphragm condenser offering in Universal Audio's standard series of microphones, and it comes alongside the SD1 Dynamic and SP1 small diaphragm condenser microphones. The SC1 is a solid sounding microphone in its own right, and if you're looking for an affordable large diaphragm condenser, then it's worth checking it out, especially because of the integration with UA's new Hemisphere plugin. When used in conjunction with the Hemisphere plugin, the SC1 can impart some of the sonic signature of highly regarded and classic condenser microphones from Neumann, AKG, and Sony. There are eight models designed for the SC1 in the initial release of the plugin. And before you go ahead and say anything about having to have an Apollo interface with DSP to run the plugin, it is available in a native version. So whether you're recording on a Universal Audio Vault or an audio interface from another brand like Gabe was for our remote session, or honestly, even a portable recorder, you'll still be able to experiment and reap the benefits of the Hemisphere plugin at Mixdown. One thing to keep in mind though, is that if you are looking to track with the Hemisphere effect enabled and print the modeled mic output, then you will need to use a UA Apollo series interface. The release of the Hemisphere plugin also brings mic modeling to the other standard series mics, so if you already own an SD1 or a pair of SP1s, UA just expanded your mic locker by including five models each for the SD1 and the SP1. Let's go ahead and take a listen to these Hemisphere models in action on that session that I mentioned earlier. You'll hear the SD1 on snare drum using the 441 model, the SP1s on overheads featuring the 451 model, and the SC1 on everything else. You'll hear it on kick drum with the 47 model, on the guitar amp and the bass amp with the 67 model, soprano saxophone with the C12 model, alto saxophone with the 251 model, hand drums with the 414 model, and shaker and tambourine with the 251 model. Since I didn't use any EQ on this session, only a little reverb and some light compression and limiting on the master bus, the Hemisphere plugin was really helpful in shaping the tone of each instrument. Let's take a listen to the isolated bass with the raw capture from the SC1. Sounds pretty good, but I found it to be a little too full sounding for the track, so I auditioned a couple of the Hemisphere models. Naturally, I went for the 47 first, but found it to be even more full sounding, so I settled on the 67 model and shifted the proximity control a little to help bring out the mid-range.
It was nice having the option to make that change at the start of my signal chain and the flexibility to easily manipulate the core character of the bass sound if I decided to take the mix in another direction. The guitar was another instrument where I could really hear the character of different mic models, so let's go ahead and take a listen. First, we'll start with the plug-in bypass for the unadulterated sound of the SC1, and when the plug-in is enabled, you'll also see the proximity control in action. Alright, now you've seen and heard the Universal Audio SC1. What did you think? And what do you think about mic modeling in general? Let us know down below in the comments. Until next time, I'm Andrew with B&H.